Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has, uh, it's been a while, um, but I have a lot of video games I want to play right now, and I figured why not record them and, and put them up. Uh, and we're going to be checking out Sable. Let's, uh, let's get into it, huh? Yes, I'd like to start a new game. Hopefully the, um, the audio levels are alright. I haven't, uh, I haven't checked these things for a long time, so we're just going to wing it and, uh, if I need to make adjustments for the next episode, I will. Already. Very aesthetic. I am very into this. Uh, I'm going to be using a controller, so disregard the, uh, the WASDA on screen. Oh, look at how those balls stay in the air. That's really interesting. All right, we have a little jumpy. Little jumpy b boy. Give, give her a smooch. Oh, we can climb like, like Zelda. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Uh, I changed a couple settings. I'm hoping they don't mess anything up too bad. I changed it from 30 FPS, 30 FPS by default to 60. I'm hoping that like the game doesn't need 30. I also changed colors to high visibility. Um, I just figured that meant like higher quality, but but it could mean like for hard of sight. I mean, I guess can I change it here, or do I have to do it at the main screen? Let's see if it makes a visible difference here. High visibility default. Okay, that is very different. I think I'll leave it on default. I'm not sure what I prefer, but if the devs think that default is su supposed to be what it is, then I trust them. I want to see the difference again. That's so, so different. That's insane. Well, I'm just going to leave it on default for now, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll change it later. All right, I'm guessing we have to push this button. Wow. I, I guessed correctly. Yeah, I already got that I have to press A to jump, okay? Not that dense. Can I jump onto this thing, dude? Oh, Platforming God. All right, tutorial. I've had enough. <laughs> I played Zelda. Okay, I get it. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. The, uh, the run cycle is really interesting. I feel like they deleted, like, every other frame of the animation, so it feels really, like, claymation-y. Like, stop-motion-y, I guess. Same thing. Kind of. <laughs> claymotion. Claymation is stop-motion, but stop-motion is not claymation. This is awesome. Yes, so uh, we're back on the old YouTube. It has been a hot minute. Um, I've been very busy with uh, with school and work. Oh, there we go. Now I'm now I'm uh, grateful for you tutorial. A little sprintage. 
Okay, I, uh, I get it. You can drop the tooltip. Thank you. Uh, I've been very busy, but I'm, I'm ready to, uh, to play some video games. I think... This is a long conversation, and I, I plan on making a channel update at some point. Uh, just to kind of say what I've been up to and what my thoughts are on all of these things and what my plans are for the future. Sunshine Butterfly, my nickname in high school. But I'll give you I'll give you a brief rundown of currently how I feel. Um, I don't with this I don't have any uh, grand expectations with a uh, indie game let's play series or really any let's play series. Um, I know that that's not something people watch a lot of, and I'm okay with that. I'm I'm doing this for me. Uh, these are games I want to play for myself, and um, I could play them non-recording or I could play them uh, with a recording, and why not? record them and put them up they, they take very little effort to upload and if uh if people want to watch them and hang out with me while i do it so be it i think that's i i appreciate that and i enjoy that and i i enjoy sitting here and talking with you all um and it's and it uh it gets me to play video games so that's what we're doing uh, the other reason i'm doing this is because there are a ton of video games that i uh, missed this year um indie games because i haven't been streaming or uploading anything so i've just kind of been stagnant in my uh my video game playing lately and um the end of the year's coming up and all the uh, uh game of the year lists are coming out and it's it's just making me antsy I'm, I'm like i missed all of these really great games and uh i wanna i wanna play some of them so first on the list here is sable and then i have a i have a list on my desktop of the games i currently want to be playing um what's the new game from Hyperlight Drifter devs that just came out. That game looks really cool on the Epic Game Store. Uh, it looks kind of like this game, honestly. Like an open-world, platformy, explorey kind of game. But with very different aesthetic. It's like a sci-fi... Like... Uh, like blue and pink... Colors. Um, I want to play that new Le League of Legends turn-based game. I think that looks really interesting. Getting some, like, weird screen Terry stuff. I, you guys can't see it in OBS, but it's on my monitor. Do they have V-Sync, dude? <laughs> what if I drop it to 30 FPS? I still get it, and it just looks worse. What if I drop it to 1920 by 1080? I still have it. It's all still there. So it's fine. It's not that bad. It's just mildly annoying. Let's see what this does. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Yeah, push that button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramin? Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what that old me mechanist, mechanist, machinist, I would imagine machinist, told us holds up. If there's not, if not there, but there, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a big fan of there'll. Just make it their, their, their will. <laughs> I hear the, the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks buttons being pressed perhaps okay when i push this order thing pull that lever hard yes for me the sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound i have no idea what's going on oh on rohana's mask not that hard you've torn it out suddenly the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch and then the sounds of someone's cheering it worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check the machinist notes. Machinist? <laughs> a long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Ramin? That lever, Toma, the one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Alright, that was... Is there more? 
There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I noticed a blinking light on the... No, no, no. I'm not doing that again. Um... Oh, all right, that was weird. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That was a lot of lore that felt kind of unnecessary. Yo, yo, Sima, Sema, are you looking for a calibrator? I tell Sema I have no idea what she's talking about. She seems annoyed, but that is generally her way. Sema laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sema. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trait, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a, st a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Where are you? Where would I find you, though? Oh, bro, can I ride this? Please? 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 I'm upset. Am I supposed to follow her? Just give me some beetles, dog. What other games? I want to play 12 Minutes. I haven't played that yet. Um, there is still a bunch of old indie games that I want to play that I haven't played. I want to play It Takes Two. That came out this year. Uh, maybe me and Molly will play that one. Ibex Camp. Are there going to be Ibex around? Dude, you're staring at a wall. How is it Sama manages to contain so much chaos and verve in so small a form? Even now, there is something... There is something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask. I know it. Um, give me some beetles, though. All right. Yo. There's a lot going on here. I can feel Jadi smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet... I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping into me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jadi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I think jadi for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that i think i'm ready i know you are so let's get you started you'll need to talk to halal and driss driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike and halal will share something well let's say as useful as it is fun hmm? i think i might suspect what jadi's saying but i stay quiet after that i suppose we'll see you off i'll be back soon Tell Jadi I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly, so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go and speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your blaze 
your <laughs> your bike with Saizo. But you know how he is. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gilding. On my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredibly, incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, it's nearly time. LB, hold button compass. Oh, that's kind of sick. Um... First impressions, I think there's too much dialogue. I feel like that... I don't know, man. I'm not trying to be, like... Like, pretentious here. Like, I don't make video games. Like, the devs know what they're doing. But for me, I feel like... The game would have... More of an impression on me if... Um... I was just kind of exploring the world and kind of left in this unknown territory without all this lore and exposition uh, shoved in front of me. It would be f <laughs> it would be fine also if it was uh, not as long. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Have a good day. I don't know. Maybe it'll get better or maybe I'll get used to it more, but I'm just not a big fan of having to read that much dialogue. I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Saima. Do you know where I can find beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor, and the beetle will start eating it. And you can sneak up and grab it. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor. On a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a stone, small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I can rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to less, sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... I don't know what I feel because um, I'm not the character. Fuzziness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. <laughs> Alright, I like that one. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask you how I can do this. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jotty's words now and tell Halal I'll go see Driss. Yet again, I feel... I, oh, I didn't even mean to jump through that window. Again, I feel like that's just too much dialogue. <laughs> I just want to ride one of these things, dude. So I got to, like, charge my stone over somewhere. I think over there. I don't know. I can figure out my compass. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. I need to go talk to that other person. And I need to uh, find seeds to catch beetles so I can give him, give the beetles to our little friend and get the the thing. Why do you still have a thing above your head? Don't ask. Alright. Let, let's go to the temple. Let, let's try and get some progress made this episode, huh? Okay. 
Can you take these buckets? Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> um, I want to play Inscription as well. I have I've seen a little bit of Inscription played. Um, but it looks really interesting. It's like a card game escape room that like evolves. It it's really weird, but it looks really cool. Um there's another game that just came out and I cannot remember what it's called. It's like the space game. <laughs> it's a space game. You fly like a spaceship. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'll check and uh I'll check what it's called and relay the information in the next episode. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. I hope this doesn't... <laughs> hope there isn't like 15 minutes of dialogue up at this temple, huh? The world is really cool, though. Like, this is amazing. I love how stylized it is. It looks, um... It's very satisfying. Nice soundtrack so far as well. Um, I'm not sure how frequent these episodes are going to be. I'm hoping a couple a week, but I'm really just going to record whenever I feel like playing video games. And, uh, and go this way. Excuse me. No, it's got to be up there. I don't, I don't think we can do like a climbing dash like we could in uh, Breath of the Wild. The, it feels slightly buggy in places too, just the way the camera kind of clicks. Oh, okay. Is a platforming puzzle? Oh, I bet we're going to be able to glide on the way out. And we'll, uh, that'll be what allows us to get out of here. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Yes and no. I'm ready for Roana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. Feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Now those are some colors. Imagine if we had heightened colors on right now. We'd be blind. All right, that's sick.
Wake up, samurai. Oh, yeah. Got a little glidey ball, boys. That's sick. That's cool. I'm excited to see how this game is going to, like, open up. Once we acquire all of our abilities, what's going to be the point, I guess? I'm excited. I, th I think it's got a lot of potential. The world is, is really cool, and I think the, the platforming and exploration has a, has a lot to be excited about. Um, but I think that's where we're going to end it for this episode. We'll, uh... Oh, look at this guy, dude. What? That's sick. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end it there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave a like down below and, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm excited to, to play this game with you all. I'm excited to be back. And I will uh, see you all next time. Goodbye!